The outright world land speed record is so iconic because of the easiest thing to understand, it is simply driving a car faster than anyone else in history. We are building a rocket and jet powered 1,000 mile per hour car. But going fast isn't really what Bloodhound is about. The biggest problem we've got is bringing science and technology to life for kids at school. This isn't a small problem. The world needs more engineers particularly to apply the science that's being developed. And actually things like the Guinness World Records play a big role in that. They fire people's imaginations. We got into the discussion of Guinness World Records and talked with some schools and the schools wanted to build rocket cars. Here was something the land speed record could do and do brilliantly. Joseph Leckie School set the first official speed record at 88 miles per hour. Well, as of today, the speed record stands at 551 miles per hour. So that shows how children have taken this on, the students have taken on board this challenge, and they've made it their own. Cars are quite easy, however, it's the thought process behind the car and what should go into the car itself is the challenging part for the children. I think they'll surprise themselves when they actually race them on the track on how quick they will go. I remember as a kid getting my Guinness World Records book every year. And what it tells you is that there's a fantastic world full of people who are exploring, pushing the limits, who are restless and curious. Building a car that has to go along the ground at 1,000 miles an hour is incredibly difficult. It looks simple, but because it is such a challenge, it's a great story to tell. And the students who are building these understand Bloodhound without you having to explain it. Hard to be an engineer or even an architect, so this is really helpful. Companies like Bloodhound, because it shows that actually learning engineering and mathematics can actually get you somewhere in life. We are a major schools project right away around the world. And actually these are the people who are probably going to break a thousand miles an hour first. There's some students somewhere in the UK who are already looking to do a thousand miles an hour. Pretty soon you're going to have rocket cars and playgrounds all around the world and that's a great sign that Bloodhound's actually achieving its mission.